Welcome everyone. Today's video will be about best displaying your work in your shop. So the images you have become like a gallery experience because you have quite a few product images that you can add and we want to make sure you're utilizing those for a, a deeper experience and to answer the questions a client might have. So when you're replicating a gallery experience, start with the artwork as a whole because when you walk into the gallery, you would see it from a distance, you'd see it in its entirety. Then for your own benefit, think about including an art in situ, especially if you're a large abstract artist. So that will help with the size and also the style context. For Hoverlay, make sure you either have your lead image being the artwork in its entirety or select an image for your Hoverlay so that the clients can actually project it onto their own wall. Sorry impose it on their wall, not so much project it. Uh, then to be in a gallery, you would go closer to the work you're attracted to. So as you move closer, you want to see close-ups. That's where you start noticing the texture. So include a photograph of the texture or the mark making examples and also highlights of the work. There may be a certain section that you think is really the loveliest or maybe there's some subject matter they may have missed. So there's a bird over in the corner. Um, so bring up some highlights of the work in your product gallery. One of the questions we do get is about framing and what the edges of the canvas look like. So please photograph the edges of your canvas to reassure the buyer that you have painted around it. If you don't paint around it, what it looks like and they can decide whether they need to frame or not. Or if you're, if you're saying it comes framed, please include a photograph of the frame. I've seen people say that it's like an ornate gold frame and there's no picture of it anywhere. It's really difficult for us to sell that without engaging lots of conversation with the artist to get back with an answer. It's probably not going to happen. If there's a question that they don't have answered, you run the risk of losing that, that purchase. So please, anything about the artwork that you're needing to let the buyer know that they would see in a gallery, please include it in your product gallery, in your, in your product images. That is from a distance, from close up, as I'm saying, all those highlights of the work. Because if you're standing up close to it, you'll get time to look at the media that's being used and little details at the side. I also encourage you, if you have a photograph of your studio or you creating the work, that could be really engaging in the product slideshow and also um, if you're a print or a um, photographer, print artist or a photographer, then I would encourage having a photograph of you signing an artwork just to show them that you personally sign it. If you do, if you don't personally sign it, don't put that in. But these kind of things can add to the experience of what they will get. Well, I hope that it really helps everyone because you definitely get more than just one image to showcase your work. Use the whole um, experience from the whole image down to the details and start loading up extra works into your product gallery. Okay. Good luck.